All right, everybody, Alvin here with part two of my how I got here story. Part one, quick recap, got a flower art for my 12th birthday, taught myself how to cast, taught myself how to tie some flies, did very poorly for a long time, moved to Austin, met the guys at the Austin Angler, learned a ton from them, Fast forward a few years later, and I am now working as the manager of the Austin Angler. I'm pretty deep in the whole fly fishing industry at this point. And at the time, there were not any full-time guides or guide services in the Austin area. There were a couple of part-timers, you know, and people that would uh, guide for a while and then, uh, you know, quit guiding. And we, we got quite a few people asking for guides and so me and a couple of guys that worked at the shop, uh, JT Van Zant, Joey Lynn, and I started guiding. Initially, it was just a way for us to make a little extra cash on the side, you know. Uh, our boss, Larry Sunderland, he paid us pretty well at the Angler, but you know, um, he couldn't pay us a fortune because it was a retail business and uh, he had a lot of overhead, so he allowed us to guide um, on our days off, and sometimes, you know, on our days we were supposed to be in the shop, to make a little extra cash. July of 04, the Austin Angler shuts down. And at this point, I've been guiding, I guess, man, probably close to 10 years. And I was working, you know, seven days a week for a lot of that time because I was guiding on my days off and just really loved being on the water. So when the Angler shut down, it was a pretty natural thing. Instead of trying to uh, find another retail gig, you know, had a couple of partners, thought about keeping the fly shop going, or had a couple of offers to work at some other fly shops, but I really just wanted to be on the water. So, I just hit the ground running. Larry took down the Austin Angler website. He gave me the mailing list, the email list, which was awesome. I still have people on that email list from 15 years ago. <laughs> um, and he put up a one-page website that basically said, you know, Austin Angler, thanks for 23 years of memories. If you want to go fishing, get in touch with Alvin. And he put my contact info there. I put up my original website in 01, so I was already, I already had an online presence. And yeah, I just hit the ground running. Yeah, of course, the first couple of years without this salary from the fly shop was tough. But, uh, you know, I was young, didn't have any kids, didn't have a wife, didn't really have any responsibilities. So I was able to just kind of grind it out. Decided early on that I didn't really want to spend the hot summers in Texas if I didn't have to. So I started guiding in Colorado. Uh, did that for probably 10 years, initially leaving Texas, you know, June 15th and staying in Colorado till the end of September. Ended up um, last few years just doing July and August, the busy season. And then I just, uh, a few years back, decided, man, I don't mind the Texas heat so much. I'm going to guide year round in Texas, Hill Country and Texas Coast. So that's where we are now. Now you guys know my <laughs> basic background origin story how I got into this whole guide business and uh, yeah gonna kind of dive deeper into the details kind of the day-to-day -day nitty-gritty and just uh, gonna show you guys uh, how awesome this gig is and how happy I am to be doing it and really couldn't imagine myself doing anything else so anyway thanks for listening and uh, tune back in for more if you like what you hear, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have more. If you got questions, let me know in the comments. All right.